Hello, my dear sewing friends. It's Elisa here with Thoughtful Creativity. Thank you so much for tuning in today, especially because this one is going to be quick and easy and the third and final video in our Dartless Bodice Block series. So in video number one, we drafted the Dartless Bodice Block, so the bodice block for woven fabrics that doesn't have any darts. Then in video number two, we talked all about the sleeve when we created a sleeve for this. And today, we're actually going to work with the Dartless Bodice Block and we're going to create a a drop shoulder blouse that has actually been a base for quite a lot of tutorials on this channel that you have already seen so let me show you now do you remember these tops there's actually more than that on my channel and all of the links will be linked in the info box below for you guys to take a look at it and to have some more ideas of where you will be able to use this darkless bodice block that we're going to transform into a drop shoulder top but these are the three that i wanted to show you to see the possibilities of this very simple modification of a darkless bodice block so the first one is a very simple peasant blouse that has been gathered at the sleeve and and at the front and in the back and that has been also made by adjusting and modifying the very simple drop shoulder blouse now this one is a boxy top with a, a ruffle in the sleeve and the keyhole neckline in the back also a drop shoulder blouse and of course this linen blouse that a lot of you have seen which has also been made by modifying a drop shoulder sleeve blouse so definitely quite a lot of possibilities quite a lot of things that you can make just by using that one simple design and that's the reason why I want to show you how to make it from your dartless bodice block so let's get started First things first, you will need to go ahead and grab your Darla's Bodice Block template and we will need to copy that on a fresh piece of pattern paper. And after that, we will need to make just a couple of little adjustments and you will be done in no time. So let's get started with copying these on the pattern paper. Now it is a very simple procedure. You just place your existing pattern piece on a new piece of paper and trace it with the pencil as precisely as you can. And to help hold the pattern in place, you can either use a painter's tape or pattern weights. Now here I have also outlined my pencil markings in red so you can see better. And I'm also going to extend my pattern below the waistline so that way it would really look like a blouse. So I'm extending it about four inches and for the width of the bottom, I too a quarter of my hip circumference plus half an inch for the ease. Now when you do this step, please make sure that the front and the back pattern pieces match, like this. For this next step, go ahead and start with the back pattern piece first. Here we will start by dividing the existing shoulder seam in half and raising it by about quarter of an inch. Now we will draw a new shoulder line. For me, it is going to be about three inches longer. For you, it can be shorter or longer than the original. And it is going to go through these points. Once done, drop a perpendicular line from the edge of the new shoulder line. And this line doesn't necessarily need to be of any particular length, just somewhat halfway through the shoulder line and a side seam. Now, it's really important to understand that this dropped shoulder is going to make the armhole smaller. So to make it a little bit bigger so that way we can actually move our arms, let's go ahead and drop half an inch at the side seam. And now, with a curved line, complete the underarm section of the sleeve. To give the sleeve a better shape and make it not so pointy when you wear it, let's drop this part by about a quarter of an inch down and you can adjust it further if you'd like, but for right now, slightly curve in the shoulder seam. Now let's go ahead and tidy up the lines and move to the front pattern piece. And here everything is super easy. So what you're going to do is you're going to place it on top of your back pattern piece and you will need to make sure that you line it up at the waistline. And this is a really important moment because if you have been drafting this block with me, your sight seam length might be different from front to back and your shoulder height might be different from front to back as well. Now you can also see that here, for example, high shoulder point is higher than the back and that is the only thing that we will leave as is in a front pattern piece. The rest we will simply copy from the back like you see me do on the screen. Now 
Now here's the thing, because of the difference in height of the front and the back, the front shoulder seam will be a little bit longer than the back shoulder seam. And we need to even them out. So grab your measuring tape, measure the back shoulder seam, and then adjust the front shoulder seam to be the same length as you see me do on a screen. And that's it. It's done and dusted. So let's test it out. Now let's go ahead and cut your pattern pieces out. And here, please remember to add your seam allowances because I draft my patterns and all of my tutorials without seam allowances added on the paper patterns because I do that when I cut my fabric. So if you work differently, please remember to add your seam allowances. Now here's a quick little tip and this is just how I do things so you can take this tip or you can leave it whichever way you prefer. Now when I'm trying out sleeveless design or a design with a short sleeve, a lot of times what I'll do is I will cut the edge of the sleeve without seam allowance because I just want to see where that sleeve is actually going to end on my arm. So that's what I do when I'm trying and doing my mock-ups to see where exactly that sleeve is going to land because seam allowance will often depend on what kind of finish you're going to apply to your sleeve or to your sleeveless top. All right, now that that is done, let's go ahead and baste it together. I do it with just a hand sewing needle and a thread, nothing fancy. Make sure that you do take into account your seam allowances and then let's go ahead and try it out. And that's how it looks when it's all done and ready to try on. You see how the sleeves are falling, you see how the bust line looks, you see where the armhole ends. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now here, if you would like your sleeves to, let's say, be a little bit closer to your arms, you can adjust that on your pattern pretty easily. And here's how. Remember how we dropped the sleeve by quarter of an inch? You can drop it a little bit more and then curve it in like this and that's it now you have your drop shoulder sleeve blouse and of course if you do this adjustment you will need to repeat exactly the same thing on the back pattern piece as well well thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye